Hey, Stephanie. So folks in northern Colorado and the Front Range have been seeing a lot of energy development lately. That's right, Jim. And as it moves closer to people's houses, there are a lot of questions about just how the drilling process works. Can you walk me through it? Sure. The first step is to clear a well pad. In parts of Colorado near residential areas, the state regulates noise levels, so a lot of companies also put up sound barriers. What's next? A drilling contractor will bring a drill rig. Those are the very tall, crane-like things you see from the side of the road. In northern Colorado, this rig typically drills straight down a mile or further. Then it goes horizontal, making a hole in the ground that looks like a giant L. How long does this take? About 10 days. I should also mention that the rig isn't just poking a bare hole two miles deep in the ground. The well is kind of like an onion, with layers of steel pipe, called casing. The biggest pipe is at the top, and cement gets pumped around the outermost casing, making a seal between the pipe and the earth. So when does the fracking happen? After the wells are drilled, the rig moves to a new pad, and the fracking team, usually another contractor, comes on. Hydraulic fracturing involves pumping a whole lot of sand, water, and chemicals down the well at very high pressure. The liquid is pushed out of the well through small holes in the metal casing, and the high-pressure fluid cracks open the rock. The sand then holds these cracks open so that the oil or gas in the rock can flow back into the well. The chemicals kill bacteria, thicken the water, and reduce friction. And now we have oil and gas. Pretty much. What you see when you look at a finished well pad is usually what industry calls Christmas trees, a permanent wellhead that regulates pressure on the well. You'll also see separators, which look sort of like small torpedoes, and separate the petroleum products from the water coming out of the well. There are also tanks to hold the wastewater and the oil. If it's a gas well, a pipeline takes the gas away. If it's an oil well, oil is stored in the tanks and then picked up by trucks. So even once a well is drilled, there are still trucks going back and forth. Truck traffic is actually one of the biggest impacts of a drilling boom, even though fracking gets a lot of the attention. Wastewater is also a growing issue, but that's a story for another day.